The hinge Democrat Cory Booker glares crazily, smashes fists as he screams at female DHS Secretary Kirsten uh, Nielsen by Joshua Kaplan for thegatewaypundit.com. Senator Cory Booker, no doubt gearing up to run for president in 2020, became unhinged during Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen's testimony before the Senate Judiciary Committee Tuesday. Booker glared crazily at Nielsen as he smashed his fists in protest of President Trump's alleged crap hole comments made during a meeting with Democrats on DACA. Let's take a listen. Your silence and your amnesia is complicity. Oh, really? Let's take a listen to this idiot. We go to the black belt in the South. When I'm in Atlanta, black churches in Newark, they're concerned about jihadist Islamic terrorism. We watched the Twin Towers from Newark go down. But since 9 11, 85 violent incidents, 73% were with people that hold bigoted, hateful ideas about minorities. Really? Let's hear about the bigoted people that, uh, that did the most damage to people. I didn't hear any of it. One American killed in Charleston, Virginia, dozens. One. Mm -hmm. injured. Nine Americans killed in a church shooting in Charleston, South Carolina. That had nothing to do with white supremacists. Because a white supremacist is not going to kill churchgoers uh, in a Christian church. <laughs> do, you see, do you see these idiots? What they're trying to push? What they're trying to push on the people. Are you kidding me? A white supremacist. An American killed and another wounded in Kansas after a white supremacist why would a white supremacist shoot up white people? Does it make sense in a Christian church? So, okay, wh what's going on here? Targeted them for their ethnicity, saying, get out of my country. What? Six, six Americans killed and four others wounded in Wisconsin, where white supremacists targeted individuals for their religion. What religion? The commander-in-chief. In an Oval Office meeting, referring to people from African countries and Haitians with the most vile and vulgar language. Really? The language festers. When ignorance and bigotry is allied with power, it is a dangerous force in our country. <laughs> uh, your silence that. and your amnesia is complicity. And she's sitting there, you know, I mean, I understand that because, you know, I'm on the outside. I got news for you guys. I would never stand for that. I'd be cursing up a storm. Really, I would. It's sad to say, but I wouldn't take this crap, believe me. Uh, and if this guy thinks that this is going to go over with the American people. The American people elected Trump. We want our country back, baby. We want our country back. We don't want it destroyed the way you guys plan on destroying it. That's over with now. That's over with. So let's move on. Daily Caller published a partial transcript of Booker's tirade. I heard, really? Booker cried when Dick Durbin called me. I had tears of rage. <laughs> yeah, tears of rage. <laughs> when I heard about this experience in this meeting, you didn't have tears of rage when Hillary Clinton was robbing the billions of dollars in donations blind, but you have tears of rage when you hear about uh, Trump calling it a crap hole. If he did, I could care less. I would have called it worse. But let's move on. For you not to feel that hurt and that pain and to dismiss some of the questions of my colleagues saying, I've already answered that line of questions when tens of millions of Americans are hurting right now because of what they're worried about right now in the White House. That's unacceptable to me, Booker yelled at Nielsen. You know, you have to have a stomach because if I was Nielsen, I mean, really, you have to, you know, even Trump, actually, 
you have to have quite a stomach to take this kind of crap, really, from these people. Booker claimed that he receives enough death threats, uh, really, and uh, sees enough people plotting that Trump's comments cause him to become enraged. Wait, Booker claims that he receives enough death threats? Well, he receives death threats? For what? I would have just smacked him upside his head and sees through people plotting that Trump comments uh, caused him to become enraged, your silence and your amnesia. <laughs> no, your amnesia, uh, Booker. What about the billions of dollars? All of a sudden, you just don't remember that, huh? He concluded. Uh, and, and Trump uh, from Rand Paul himself uh, did uh, sur the surgeries on uh, 200 uh, people uh, for cataracts in Haiti donated the money so 200 people could see. I mean, you know what kind of a gift that is? The gift of light, really? And you're talking about Trump? Get out of here, you pieces of trash. Anyway, uh, as the Gateway Pundits Jim Hoft reported, President Trump reportedly suggested to lawmakers that Haiti and several Central African American or American and African nations may be crap holes. Yeah, well, oh well. So the president, many and many others who were present, deny POTUS Trump's use that language. And how about this? Let's add to this. We don't care if he did. He could have cursed from top to bottom and we still wouldn't care. We'd be right behind him. So I don't know what these people are talking about, what kind of agenda they want to be pushing now. The uh, first reports of the comments were reportedly by liberal senator Dick Durbin, another lying uh, idiot, because that one's an idiot, that one's a total moron, but most of the Democrats are, who has a history of lying about uh, private meetings, yeah, Department of Homeland Security, Secretary Kirsten uh, uh, Nielsen, who was also at the Thursday uh, meeting in the White House, told reporters on Sunday that she does not recall the crap hole comments, and even if he did, we do not care. Chris Wallace, get off of your pedestal. I turn my television off. When you come on, I change the channel. Chris Wallace has to go. I wish, I wish, you know what the thing is? America, we have a lot of older people, and I do too also in my family, you know, and they don't know how to use the internet, and they don't, you know, they're not up to that speed. Most, a lot of people aren't. And uh, they are, you know, and I see them get upset because they're watching mainstream media, but they don't know about the internet. I said, you know, you should go on the internet. Uh, listen to uh, people on the internet where you can get the real deal and get people of like-minded people on the uh, same wavelength. Well, you don't get depressed over this because the older people here in America that love Trump uh, that uh, that they 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 have uh, no other option but then listening. And I said to my uh, relatives, I said, watch Fox News if you're going to watch uh, any kind of news. Get off the other channels because they depress the people because they're constantly hearing that and they're thinking that you know that Trump uh, is this and that they're going to take him out there and they're not going to let him. Uh, you know, become, they're going to take him uh, out in the sense of, uh, you know, not being president, impeaching him, because that's what they hear. It's such a shame. It's such a shame that we have to be bombarded, these people, not me and not you guys, uh, but the older people, you know, that uh, they don't know how to use the Internet. It's, it's a shame that they have to be subjected to this. And then look, look at, uh, look at how they, they don't show uh, Kirsten answering back. I'd like to know what Kirsten said to him. Because if I was her, see, they only show only him now. Let's hear her answer to him. Because I wouldn't sit there and take that crap. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd answer him. I'd answer him. I'd say, listen, the American people voted. America first agenda. That's what we want in this country. And too bad for you guys because you have no platform other than dissing President Donald Trump. That's all they have, people. That's all they have. They have no message. No message whatsoever. 
and uh, that's what has to go out. Even YouTube, even YouTube, uh, YouTube, uh, the, didn't they say the Twitter what they're doing? They're not leaving the content. You're going to tell me that out of the whole world, only a thousand people watch, uh, let's say, my video or somebody else's video in a couple hours? What? No, they're put on the side. That's why you have to share it out to the people, tell them uh, about these channels that are pro-Trump, whereas they can't, you know, even if they don't show up in your feed, you press that that channel, you know, I, you know, I used to, before I got involved with uh, YouTube, I used to um, make a list of the channels that I liked, you know, with, that I would accidentally fall upon and write the uh, channel's name, and I'd go right back to the channel because they wouldn't show up in my feed again. And uh, I would, uh, I would like go to my list and go down the names of the, the channels that I liked, and I used to watch them that way before I became a little bit more uh, computer savvy because I'm not really, uh, um, how do you say, you know, I was basically uh, how the rest of the people were uh, half asleep for quite some time till uh, till a couple of years ago. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and tell this Booker character to give it up. He ain't going to win. He has no message except, again, attacking President Donald Trump. Uh, and I appreciate all your comments, people. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, till the next video, thank you. Bye-bye.